Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. Giving you an update from the Holy Land of Israel. Thank God I'm alive, I'm well. My family, we're all okay. Praise the Lord. And we'll continue to be okay and God willing, Hashem will sweeten this whole process immediately and give us victory and ultimate victory with the coming of Mashiach. Immediately. Um, we are in the middle of a war. The war is being fought in the south, in Gaza, and also there's threats from the north and escalations on the north, obviously being backed by Iran, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> but we must also remember that it's important in these moments to, to strengthen our connection to Hashem and increase our output of good deeds, that that is how we get involved in the war. I, I've gotten so many questions of how they can help, how people from abroad can help us. And I always tell them, do an extra good deed, do more good deeds today than yesterday, do much more every day, increase. And that is literally how we win this battle, because this battle is just a reflection on, of what's going on above. I want to share with you something very interesting. The Alter Rebbe tells us that we have to live with the times. What does it mean, live with the times? Live with the times means, the Alter Rebbe explains, you have to read the daily Torah portion. Every, Torah, every day has a specific Torah portion that's divided to that specific day. In today's Torah portion, we see, interestingly, the word Hamas twice. The word Hamas means robbery and corruption. It's interesting that that's what the word Hamas means in the Torah. And it says, Hashem has seen that there has been evil among the earth and Hamas has filled the land. And then later on, a few uh, verses later, Hashem says He's going to eradicate Hamas from the earth, remove Hamas from the earth. So if that's not a better indication that we're going to win this battle and Hashem is literally with us right now every single moment, then then I don't know what what, what's, what, what more you need because that is clear Ruach HaKodesh, clear divine providence from Hashem to, to, to see that that God is communicating with us and reminding us that He is the one who runs the world. And he is surely going to grant a swift and ultimate victory. So we must remember to live with the times. And Baruch Hashem, pray for us. We have to know that we are in fi the final moments of, 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 of Galus, of exile. And the world is changing. We're going to enter a new reality, a new platform, a new, a new world. The world as we know it is over, and the world that, that's going to be, the world that's promised to us, that's promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is, is, is coming upon us. We're entering a new consciousness, a new wavelength, a wavelength of godliness, a wavelength of kindness, of peace. Where suffering and, and jealousy and destruction and war will cease to exist. And godliness and pleasure and love and revelations of Hashem will be the, 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 will be the norm for the world. So we must know, guys, that we're a part of this mission, that yes, the war is ongoing and we all need your prayers. The soldiers need your, soldiers need your prayers. The civilians need your prayers. And we're, we appreciate the support. But we must know that we can be a part of this war by doing more goodness and kindness. If you're a, Jew, a Jewish man, please put on tefillin every day, except on Shabbos and specific holidays. If you're a Jewish woman, please light, or a Jewish girl, light Shabbos candles every Friday. If you're not Jewish, please follow the seven laws of Noah and spread them to the world. And also every mitzvah that we do is, is helps this war. And if you're not Jewish, it's very important that you try to support the Jewish people, that you don't go against Hashem, because the whole this is a test for you guys. This is a test for the non-Jewish people if they're going to be back the Jewish people. If they're going to support Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's descendants. Or if God forbid they're going to do the opposite, there's going to be, that's, I don't even want to go there what the punishment for that is. And same for Jews, we must stand together, we must unite, we must be as one. And through that, we're going to be granted victory, we're going to be granted the messianic era that's immediately about to come upon us, God willing. So I hope you like this message, please share it with the world. Thank God I'm doing well, I'm doing okay. And as Hashem, we'll experience the full redemption immediately.